Oh, I need light and to move closer. There we go, hi. Okay, it's still not close enough. Why can't I get you closer to me ever in life? You're just always so far away. I lost my voice. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> um, I lost my voice. It's coming back a little bit, but uh, it's a little gone. So today, we're gonna try Target's Pride clothes. So Target came out with a Pride launch and TikTok is eating it alive. They are destroying it and making fun of it. So I decided to go to the Target near me and uh, buy all of the clothes I could find and uh, then, we're gonna try them out here and see how bad they really are. They're pretty bad. But I thought I'd give you a real life model instead of people just taking the pictures on the racks. I'm gonna put them on my body. I paid too much money for this. Gosh darn it. But before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsor. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. But now that you are here, let's have a little talk. I don't need my water bottle. Cause I have six bottles of wine right here, catered to my taste. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have another Bright Cellars sponsorship today. What is Bright Cellars, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Oh, hi, okay, I should not be doing this on white sheets. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription with hundreds of private labeled wines and more being added each month. Bright Cellars offers you wine from all over the world, catered to your palate. But how can they do that, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. All you have to do is answer a quick seven question quiz. I can't get it out of the box. And don't worry, this quiz is not for wine snobs because I was able to take it. And wait. And I did quite well. With this quiz, they gather all of your taste and smell and feeling preferences and then they deliver the wine they know that you'll love. And that's a guarantee, because if you don't like a wine, they'll replace it in your next box. And each bottle comes with its own little handy card, which tells you things like where its origin is, its flavor notes, pairing suggestions, and much more. With a subscription to Bright Cellars, you'll no longer have to waste your money on wine that you don't like. And guess what? You can also go online into your account and rate the wines you get from one to five, and that will influence your future wines. So if this seems like something that you'd be interested in, then listen up, because my followers are getting exclusive 50% off your first box. So join me in having a glass of wine while you crawl into bed at the end of a long day. All you have to do is click the link below, follow it, take your quiz, get your wine delivered right to your door. So thank you again, Bright Cellars, for sponsoring this video. And thank you for all of this wine. Oh, yeah, no, it's bedtime. You're right. Scoot over. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Now, I'm gonna show you the thing I actually think I could pull off and I'm kind of excited about, all right? We will put these on our bodies, don't worry. Overalls. Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually excited for these. They're hideous and I love them so much. So I'm into that. Um, a lot of it was guy stuff or lesbians. I don't, there was, are these gendered? Wait a second, I just realized, are these gendered? I just look at them, oh my God, the society has ruined me. I look at this and thought it was a guy shirt and it's in the pride sec. Oh my God, I apologize to everyone. I gendered clothing and I'm against that. I should not have gendered clothing. But uh, we have this button up rainbow ice cream shirt. This shirt that needs to go back to the like 2009 because this isn't worn anymore. But apparently we take pride in it. Guys, I am proud 365 days a year. Gosh darn it. This is the ugliest shirt in the entire world. And then we have an ally. I'm an ally to myself. You know what? I can see this being really cute on like a dad. A dad that is very proud of their, his chi child or children. So that one can be worn by dads or moms. Okay, then there's this obnoxious thing. It's very obnoxious. I can see maybe people actually wearing this one. We'll see how it fits on the body. I'm actually pretty excited for these <laughs> because this is my overalls. Like I'm all for it. And there's a few more things. Why? This is not the tie-dye that people want. This is not the tie-dye people crave and need. This is the wrong kind of tie-dye. It's wrong, it's wrong. Pride, 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 pride. They could have come up with so many cool designs. Like we gave them a rainbow and they just decided to throw up a rainbow. Okay, let's try these on. Okay, I'm just trying on whatever I pull out. I cuff the sleeves because gay. This fits like a normal t-shirt. It's totally fine. But uh, if you didn't know, I got a lot of pride in me. <laughs> so that's that first t-shirt. There it is. 
Oh, can I keep the tags on and return this? Cause that's what's that's, that's the thought I'm gonna start having. I will say it is a very soft t-shirt. Just don't look at it. Also, okay, now while I do not believe that clothing should have a gender, I do think that because we have had that, that's how we base what size we get. Like I am a medium in women's, but like a small in men's and things like that. So I thought, I saw this t-shirt and thought that looks like a guy's t-shirt, so I got a small. And I was correct to get a small, so if we all universally said that clothing doesn't have a gender and we all you know, were on the same sizes, then that doesn't matter. There, that's why I thought the clothes had genders because they were so large that I thought they have to be made for men. <clears throat> that is all. So everything I got, I believe is a small. Yeah, see this is, this is uncomfortable and terribly cut. I hate it with passion. Can you see me walking into a room? <laughs> Can you notice me? Do you notice me? Again, I'm proud. You'd have to be to wear this shirt. You'd have to be strong and proud to wear this shirt and just want everyone to know. I do not like the way it is cut. I hate how in my armpits it is. It's like men's here, women's here, and I hate that. The reason I buy men's t-shirts is because I hate the way women's fit in the armpit. It's uncomfortable and it's ugly. Stop wearing this, stop it. Everybody stop it. I'm annoyed with you, stop. Wait, can you return clothes during COVID? Is that a thing? This is the least comfortable crew neck I've ever put on my body and what is going on with the sleeves? Why are they so bunched? What is happening? Oh. Your toast is ready, the $350 toaster. It's not toasted enough. It's not toasted enough. You have to put it on like four or five. Put it on three. Oh, put it on four. Oh, then put it on like two. Put it on three. Oh, I would put it on two. We're still figuring out the toaster. Anyway, I feel like a pirate. <laughs> I feel like a puppy pirate. I was like, oh, this won't be that bad, but it is scratchy. Oh God. Okay, next one. Target, what are you doing? Why are you doing it like this? Oh yeah. It's like, oh, they're gay, so I have to get them something oh, gay. Be good. <laughs> and just because it's gay. Why is this the biggest shirt that's ever existed? Are you an ally? I'm an ally to myself. What what size is this? They want the clothes to be baggy. You want them to be baggy? Style, I think they were trying to make the clothes baggy. The toast! Is burnt. I told you not to put it on three! This, I can see my dad wearing this. Yeah, yes. That's what it's just. He likes to wear silly shirts. He does like to wear silly shirts. I'm just gonna take this off my body because it's really homophobic. I feel like every guy I went to college with. <laughs> Bringing back 2010. That's illegal. Uh, I guess, you know what? I can see some like masked women wearing this. I feel really uncomfortable with it on my body. <laughs> but if you're masked and this is your vibe, go for it. Don't have better style than that. Don't have. <laughs> don't, have don't, okay. Just don't wear this. You're Just. Woman. What if you're like a twink Come boy? Talk Come talk to her. I think I wouldn't hate it if it wasn't Target's Pride collection. <laughs> I feel like if it was just a normal shirt, I wouldn't hate it. But because it came from the Target Pride collection, I hate it! <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it was the style is cute, but the print is terrible. Yeah, if, I mean, that's what, what I'm saying. those? Rainbow cones? Rainbow ice cream cones. They're stupid. I, they're stupid. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to come to you like... <laughs> oh, they're away. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it wasn't Target's Pride collection, I wouldn't hate it. But because it's from the Target Pride collection, I hate it. Yes. All right, I can see people wearing this though. Uh, it's subtle. It's more subtle than everything else I've tried on. I have one more t-shirt and then I get to try on my overalls. <laughs> Don't laugh. That one's the best. <laughs> I'm for hot 365 days a year, Target. I do like that they're including all the flags. Yes, I do like that all Trans the flags. Trans flag, bi flag, everything's on flag. It. Yeah, but it's so ugly. It's soft, it's comfortable, but it's what's really- the, What's the R? That one? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know all the flags, I'm sorry. the last three, to be honest. We should probably find that out. We could Google it. We got a lot of colors, guys. All right, I'm gonna put on my gay overalls now. I'm very excited for that one. How do you feel about them? I think they're too big on you. They're all small. Big on you. They're too big on you. This is what I was saying, I realized in the video, I had no idea if these, the clothing sizes for men or women. You look like a gay farmer, Rachel. <laughs> So a farmer Rachel. You're really very gay. But trying to let everyone know that I'm gay. Just wear normal overalls. You have to wear overalls with rainbows on them. They are huge. I got a small. Are you wearing overalls like that gay enough? Like, can you put? <laughs> <laughs> They're pro 
pride collection. You already made a statement, honey. You don't need to make it any more obvious. Their pride collection should have just been really good clothes that gay people would have wanted to wear. You don't have to have rainbows on them. We, we don't like to always wear rainbows. That's why I said we gave them a rainbow and they threw it up at us. Yeah. But I do kind of like these. I want to put these on my body. No, they're very hard. And they're huge. They're so big. These are terrible. These are awful. Whoa, Target, you suck so much. These are my shoes. Oh man, Target, you could have done great and then you didn't and that's so sad for you. Sad because I was really excited for these overalls. They look cute from like here up, but they are too big. I got a small. I didn't think that these were the men's one. I thought this was like a woman's thing. I think it's supposed to be unisex. I think it is supposed to be unisex, but I was saying, as this one video earlier, while I think clothes shouldn't have a gender, because as a society we've done that, we base our sizes off of the sizes of the gender it's supposed to be for. Mm -hmm. So I got smalls and everything because it all looked for like for guys. I don't know. They made it hard to shop. It's just um, more of an excitement for your merch coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Can you tell them that? I, I could tell them. I'm going to come out with better pride merch than Target. Can you have a corner problem now? No, I'm keeping your face full of food <laughs> in my video. So basically what I got from this though is Target's that aunt that tries too hard to get gay things for their niece or nephew that's gay. And it's homophobic. So that's all I have to say about that. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put actual clothes on and do an outro. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you again, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you uh, hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Also check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll let you guys know when I post there as well. And when I post, I'll let you know there as well. Yes, okay. Also check out my vlog channel and my podcast channel. I love you guys a lot. You're amazing. You're beautiful. The end.